mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression. My sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest just be, be, be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts. Amen. And in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me from my, with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to know joy. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation and uphold me with thy spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from my blood guiltiness, O God. Thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest my sacrifices, would I give it from the delight not in burnt offerings? The sacrifice of God is broken spirit and a broken and contrite heart. O oh God, thou will not despise. God bless you, 17 verses, 50 verses. Come from Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Also in Romans chapter 13, verses 11, and a few of the following. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of our sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than, we, than when we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Amen. In the book of Psalms, Psalms 107, beginning at verse 15. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for the wonderful works to the children of men. For he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder 
fools because of their transgressions and because of their iniquities are afflicted. Their souls abhorreth all manner of meat. They draw near unto the great, the gates of death. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble. And he saveth them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. They that go down into the sea in ships that do business in great waters, these see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. The word of God is blessed. Chapter 11, verse 33 through verses 36. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past think, finding out. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, or who had been his counselor, or who had first given to him, and it shall be recompensed unto him again. For of him, and through him, and to him are all things, to glory, to whom be glory forever. Amen.